All right, so here I am out in the woods, hoping to find some mushrooms today. It's been almost two weeks since the rains have started, so I've got my hopes up a little bit, we'll see. I have my family along with me, so you'll probably hear them in the background now and then. But we're gonna head up this logging trail here and into the woods and see what we can find. All right, well, here's the first mushroom of the day. It's a chanterelle. So let's get it out of there and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's get this one out of here. I'm using my Open L mushroom knife, which I thought was kind of gimmicky at first, this little brush, but it's actually great for this. So I'm cut it like that. There we go. Cantharella severus, I think. Sorry if I'm saying the Latin wrong, but there's a beautiful chanterelle. So we'll get this cleaned up and see if we can find a few more. Here's another little chanterelle. Nice. And sometimes you have to be really vigilant. Do y'all see the mushroom in this picture? It's hiding. There we go. I believe it's just a Rusula. So we'll leave that one there, but... Yeah, King Bolitz will sometimes do their Queen Bolitz too, where you can't even see the mushroom, just kind of a little, a little mound. And deep down is a mushroom. Cool. All right, well, here's a nice one hidden back here. Under these sticks. And a little... Little baby one next to it. Look at that, what a beautiful chanterelle. You can see the false gills. So there's even a lot of cool non-edible mushrooms out here. I think this is called a bird's nest mushroom or bird's nest fungus or something. Kind of neat. And then here we have this little blob here. I think it might be called witch's butter. I'm not sure. But neat to see the different species. So here's some more chanterelles and I don't know if these are Actually, white chanterelles are just really faded regular chanterelles. Um, both are totally safe to eat, and as far as I know, they taste pretty much identical. I think these might just be faded out normal chanterelles, but I'm not sure. Look how big that is. And it's striated on the edges. I believe this might be a western grisette, which is a member of the Amanita family. And I believe they're edible, and I believe they're pretty good, but... I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not doing it. Because some of the Amanitas are deadly poisonous. Some of the very few mushrooms that actually will kill you. So even though I'm pretty sure that's not good enough, but it's a beautiful mushroom to look at anyway. So I think these are Rusulas, or were. They're absolutely rotten and disgusting and well past their prime. So, you know, even if these were edible mushrooms, Hope it's obvious you shouldn't take them. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't eat rotten meat or, you know, rotten vegetables, so definitely don't eat a rotten mushroom. Ugh. Okay, let's keep going. Well, this is great. Here we have some lobster mushrooms, which is actually two kinds of mushrooms. The only bad news is I think they're probably past their prime. Well, we'll take them out and see, but either way, that's pretty neat to see a lobster mushroom up here. Look at the size of this guy. Yeah, I think we'll just leave him be. All right, so here's a really big mushroom. And I believe this is, we'll look underneath it if we can. Yeah, you can see it's gilled. I think this is a Rusula. And I think those are what um, turn into lobster mushrooms if the other kind of mushroom is parasitic on them. I'm not 100% sure, but my understanding is that these are edible, but not very good. So we'll leave that one where it is. All right, so we made it back from the hunt. We were only out about two hours, but I think we did pretty well. Had a bunch of chanterelles, that was really fun. And we saw a lot of lobster mushrooms, but a lot of them were really past their prime. This was the only one I actually kept. Um, later I'll cut it and see if it's any good. But anyway, great day to be out there, go hiking. Chanterelles actually aren't my favorite mushroom in the world, but um, they're still a really good edible. I think at my local grocery store right now, they're going for 40 bucks a pound. So I'm happy to take these for free, that's great. A couple things I just want to tell you before I sign off here. First of all, I mentioned this knife before, but I absolutely love this knife for mushroom hunting. This is an Open L mushroom knife. Um, 
It's got, uh, you know, blade holds an edge really well. It's got a nice brush for cleaning off the mushrooms. It's even got some uh, kind of, it looks like jimping, but I think this, the serrations in the back are really for kind of cleaning the stalks of the mushrooms, scraping them. But yeah, nice tool to have in the field. Um, another thing to mention, a couple of really great books if you're interested in getting into mushroom hunting in our area, in the Pacific Northwest specifically. Um, this book, All That the Rain Promises and More, been really helpful for me. And by the same author, I think this book actually came out before, is this huge <laughs> book called Mushrooms Demystified. And it's a great book too, really good reference, but if you're just starting out, I'd probably recommend starting with a little one. Anyway, one last thing, I really hope it goes without saying, but please, please don't ever eat a mushroom that you're not entirely certain about as far as its identity goes. Um, if in doubt, throw it out. And you can have a lot of fun just going out in the woods, looking at mushrooms, maybe even photographing mushrooms. You don't have to take them home to eat, you can still enjoy them. So just wanna be sure everybody's clear about that. Please, please be careful. All right. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.